Salt Lake City is a place where people are friendly with a vibrant downtown and beautiful environment. It is an amazing place to live, work, and play. Salt Lake City International Airport is unusual for a city of this size, largely because we are a Delta hub. Because we are at the very center of the West, it provides a gateway to not only this city and the country, but really around the world. The airport that exists today was built over a period of time beginning in 1961. It's actually 29 separate buildings that are combined together. It was designed to accommodate 10 million passengers. Today, we're serving almost 22 million. As we designed and planned for this new facility, we wanted first and foremost to address seismic considerations, but secondly, to make sure it could accommodate a hub operation. We went through an 18-month process with the airlines collaboratively to really decide whether to renovate the existing facility or to build new. In Salt Lake, the decision was made to build new. The cost differential was nominal. There was also a longer construction phase with renovation. Because Delta Airlines is the fortress hub carrier in Salt Lake City, we invited them into the discussion very early in the process. We also conducted a public outreach survey. That meant talking to passengers. What is it that you like? What is it that you need? The number one response was to incorporate technology into the new facility. For local folks, it meant having a big greeting area. People coming in and out of the airport here are often greeted by large family groups, and we wanted to make sure we provided for that. And a request to bring the natural beauty of the environment that we find in Utah into the new facility. One of the great things about flying into Salt Lake is flying into the valley between the mountain ranges on approach to the airport. The terminal will be an extension of that experience. One of the main features of the new terminal is centralization. Passengers come into a central hall where all of the airlines reside in one location. They all move from the check-in hall into one security checkpoint. After the security checkpoint, passengers enter into a food court and a concession area. They will come into a plaza with a large glass wall that opens onto the airfield. The gate hold room areas will be much more comfortable. We've also created an extra ample meter greeter area. What we're striving to do with the new airport is to open it up to the surrounding environment, introduce light, views, volume. The piece of art that's being developed for the central hall that will line the walls really evokes what you see when you look out the window. The canyon begins at the arrivals lobby and ends at the Grand Plaza. The canyon continues uninterrupted so you can make a visual connection from one end of the airport to the other. Going through a canyon, one is very much struck by the quality of light and the colors. Hues of redstone, sage green, the lavender sunsets. There will be several areas throughout the terminal that will incorporate other works of art. That will go through a competitive process beginning in 2017. One of the real challenges is needing to keep all of the operations going during construction. With the cooperation of the airlines, a construction phasing strategy was developed here where we could incrementally build the new facilities and slowly decommission the old facilities. As early as October 2015, the roadways will begin to change as we negotiate around the construction zone. All phases of the construction are scheduled to open simultaneously in 2020. Salt Lake City is a place where we hold our environmental quality to the highest standards and expectations. We will incorporate state-of-the-art sustainability features in this airport. And that begins by reducing our energy use. We've set net zero as the goal for every city facility. Over a period of years, the airlines will convert their ground equipment to electrically charged vehicles. The redevelopment of the Salt Lake City Airport is a $1.8 billion project. So just the immediate impact jobs and revenue that's generated is huge. All of the funding for this airport reconstruction is coming from airport users. It's not being imposed on the taxpayers of Utah. 
We see this as a great combination of efforts and a huge project for our city and for the region. We want to make sure people remember Salt Lake City International. 